Hello everybody and welcome back to Alventure. My name's Alex, and today we are continuing our Destiny Coup 2, our Destiny Coup, our Destiny 2 coverage. Uh, specifically the Warmind DLC, which just came out yesterday. Uh, and to, this is going to be the second mission of the campaign. So if you guys didn't see the first video, make sure to check that out so you're kind of up to date on what's going on. But... We are helping Anna Bray break into Mars and try to figure out what's happening with the war mind. Rasputin is capable of operating across multiple systems simultaneously. So all those times the Vanguard was trying to talk to him in the Cosmodrome. They were engaging fragments of Rasputin left behind after the collapse. But his core mind was always here. Interesting. So yeah, this DLC seems to be centered around Rasputin, which if you guys have played the first Destiny, um, and I think they mention him a few times in Destiny 2 as well, but uh, he's the Warmind, and he's like the most powerful Warmind left behind from the previous civilization, whatever came before what we have now, and uh, we're, we're looking to see what's happening with him. Because he's a very powerful weapon, apparently, a, like a digital weapon, I'm guessing. He can probably hack into anything or something like that. Um, and we don't want him to get into the wrong hands. So this DLC seems to be about figuring out what's happening with Rasputin um, and exploring Mars, which Mars is somehow frozen and also deserty at the same time. Have yet to figure out how that works, but uh, I don't know. There's some serious climate change for you. Uh, and I did mention this in my previous video as well, but I'm hoping this series can help those of you who are interested in Destiny, or maybe those of you who are interested in returning after being gone for a long time, like I was, um, figure out if this content is worthwhile for you. Because those of you who may be unfamiliar, Destiny has a pretty steep uh, you know, money price for their DLC, and, and it could be a lot. So I think I think each uh, expansion is 20 bucks and 35 if you buy them together, and that's US dollars. Um, and that could be a lot. You know, gamers aren't usually, you know, have a, you know, flush with money. They don't usually have a bunch of money that they can just spend on games they don't enjoy. So I'm hoping that those of you who are interested in watching this it can help you figure out if you want it or not. I am playing the Warlock. Uh, they're my favorite class in Destiny, although I do have to say that Hunters are a close second for me, because I do think they're the most stylish. But uh, the Dawnblade is my jam. I, I love the Dawnblade class in Destiny 2. It is so cool. I love the Fire Sword. I'm all about it. Um, and I should mention that I'm coming in with right around the exact recommended light level that uh, for these missions. So, because uh, the last DLC I was actually pretty overpowered for. This one I'm maybe a little bit underpowered, if anything. Um, so I apologize if I die easy or something like that. I'm also not fantastic at a lot of shooters. So, uh, I'll probably agree with you if you tell me that I suck or anything like that. <laughs> because I'm not ashamed to admit that I'm not amazing at shooters, I'm really not. So. These are some Cabal that we're fighting in this mission. Go down, big guy. There we go. And I apologize for any coughs or for my voice in the video as well. I oh, there she is. I'm here. There's Anna I'm Bray. Really here? I can't believe it. Clovis Bray. I'm home. So she's from here. Main access is encrypted. Good thing I know a few tricks. At least that seems to run in the family. <laughs> Yeah, so Anna Bray is like the central character uh, of this DLC, and she seems to be a pretty cool hunter. We don't know too much about her so far. So this is her, like her family's building. Together, we will strive to reach beyond the stars. Remember, you are Clovis Bray. And we're in business. Cool. Yeah, because Mars was like the first place 
uh, where they where civilization found the traveler, which is kind of the central lore of Destiny. It's what makes everything work. Um, and looks like we're headed over here. Uh, and Mars was just kind of the first like off-world place that we went, that humanity went like after you know for the golden structure. age. Hope you're up for a little um, exploring. Interesting. What's this? <laughs> okay. I'm not sure what that is. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to split up this series into one campaign mission at a time. That way the videos are pretty short and sweet, and you guys get to decide kind of if the campaign missions look interesting to you. And then maybe after I'm done with the story, maybe I'll do some, uh, like, strikes or some... Uh, public event stuff or something like that. Uh, I haven't really decided yet. This is cool though. I gotta give it to him. Bungie always makes their environments really beautiful. I'll give him that. Facility has seen better days, that is for sure. I'm picking up a lot. What of are these activity. things? They're swarming the core. On it. Let me try to access. What if I hit it with a? Uh... <clears throat> Didn't mean to do that. I was thinking since it was purple, maybe I hit it with like a void weapon. But uh, I don't know. Maybe I have to shoot it with a void weapon. I have no idea. Or they just do nothing. Mind Lab Rasputin. So we're headed into, I, I think, we're headed into Rasputin's core right now, which is... Oh, I'm not even supposed to be up here. Oh yeah, and they're, the hive here look different. They're like native Mars hive. Um, and they have some different enemy types and stuff, which is really cool. Bungie always does like different enemy types and stuff for their expansions, which is nice to have because uh, for those of us who have played Destiny, it is a lot of the same enemies over again. There are like four basic enemy types, um, and you sort of get used to each one. But uh, it's nice when the expansions come out because you kind of get to experience like new tactics from the enemies, and that helps to diversify the gameplay a lot. If I can aim. <laughs> Ugh, creepy. Get out of my face. Ah. Oh. Warlock slap. That's how I kill people in real life, too. I just high five them in the face really, really hard. What's the status on the security systems? I'm working on it. Hang in there. For those of you who are Destiny fans out there, I'm curious. Go ahead and write in the comments, what's your favorite uh, class and what's your favorite subclass? Because I think a lot of people play uh, Warlock and Hunter. I don't think as many people play Titan, and I'm not as familiar with Titan. But um, but I'd love to hear what's your favorite class for those of you who have played Destiny and Destiny on, 2 Rusty. specifically. Give me something here. What do you guys enjoy? Also, where do I go? What is that? The Rasputin's weapon. I think he hurt us. Huh. Is it gonna hurt me? Execute subroutine. What? What is this? Oh, that's awesome. It's like a throwable spear. That is so cool. <clears throat> Rasputin. We're cool now. We're we're besties. So you gave me this awesome weapon.
That's really cool. I'm also on fire a little bit. Oh, I lost it. Could I get another one? Yeah, I can. Oh, but it like runs out over time. Interesting. Oh, and there's another one up there. Okay, I see. But also, the nice thing about being a warlock is you don't have to take the stairs most of the time. You can just kind of float your way up. So, platforming is usually really easy and fun as a warlock. Because you're so floaty. It can be tough in PvP. And I'm also not good at PvP to begin with. Uh, so, I'm definitely not great at it. But, I still love me some warlock. Get my ass kicked a little bit. Oh no! Also, the camera kind of freaked out on me at the end there. Okay, well maybe I should keep my distance just a little bit. <laughs> my bad, guys. I also find it kind of funny because in the Destiny universe, your ghost, which is your little companion, in our case, Nolan North, uh, is supposed to revive you every time you die, so it's like technically as long as you have the light, you can't die. But then there are also like checkpoint areas in the game where you can actually die and you have to go back to a checkpoint, which makes sense from a gameplay standpoint, but I've always found that a little bit funny from like a lore standpoint in Destiny because it's like, how, it doesn't make any sense. Like, how can I die? My ghost is still here. So I don't know. Maybe Nolan North needs a break every now and then. He's like, you know what? I'm going for a coffee. Don't die for a couple minutes, and I'll be back later. But for now, be safe. God, whatever is hitting me is kicking my ass. I think it's those little blue, like, bomb things they're throwing. How far can I throw this? Oh, really far. It's kind of hard to aim it that far away, but I'm at least I'm taking care of business. Taking care of business every day. Get ready to be annoying ass snipers up there. You guys are kicking my ass, holy shit. And I do not want to die again. Super annoying. Oh shit, that's like a big enemy. <laughs> I also think uh, my armor stats right now are a little squishy. I think I don't have very much resistance. That's cool though, I'm digging this throwable spear. That's an awesome weapon. Anna, the door's unlocked. Did you? It wasn't me. Maybe he's inviting us inside. Maybe this is where questions finally turn into answers. Well, yeah, he gave us his spear. <coughs> hey, it's Zavala. Hello, Guardian. Oh, shanks. What do you think you're doing? Do you have any idea how dangerous this thing is? What were you trying to do to Rasputin? Rasputin is Vanguard business, Anastasia, not yours. You do not belong here. I beg your pardon? You belong to the city. But instead of standing by your brothers and sisters when Gaul came for us, you were here, doing what you always do, what you were never supposed to do. I did what I believed to be right. 
I came here to protect humanity. Isn't that what Guardians are supposed to do? This is a war of many fronts. And there's more than one way to fight it, Zavala. Look. You tried to shield the entire world. But you can't. There's got to be a better way. And do you think Rasputin is the answer? It's gone silent. It's a broken weapon. Too dangerous to be left alone and too unpredictable to wield. That might be true. Or maybe he has nothing to say. Maybe. Just maybe. We never bothered to ask him what he wanted. I don't have time to go through this with you again. You had no right. I have every right. I like her hunter you uniform a lot, too. That's a really cool armor. Rasputin. Here, let me show you. Is that Rasputin? Okay. We should really figure out exactly what's doing that. I can tell you. Rasputin was not the only thing to awaken on Mars. Yeah, that giant hive worm thing that we saw last time, too. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for joining. I hope that uh, I hope you enjoyed a little bit of that Destiny 2 Warmind gameplay. And uh, thank you guys so much. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you all in the next video.